What'd you think of that hotel? I thought that was a 10 out of 10. Oh, you got a good night's sleep, huh? Because I just saw, had my own pillow. Too bad out here, huh? Not that bad. I mean, it's cold. Is it kind of weird that you hear a train in Ohio and you just kind of think to yourself? So. All right, so today is the day college tour day at uh, Miami, Ohio. So Tay had said she had a great night. Uh, girls were funny and just really nice. So it didn't make it awkward. Um, it's gotta be hard, you know, to be a kid staying with some college kids and you know, you don't know them or anything. So um, they're in the indoor facility. It is a little, it's not too bad out. It's like in the thirties right now. It's supposed to warm up to the forties today. And then the rest of the weekend in the fifties and sixties, which is nice. So. We're gonna start in here. They got training and weightlifting, and then we're gonna have some talks with coaches, and then kind of tour the campus and facilities, and check out this university and see if this is a potential potential school for her. If it checks the boxes, if she likes it, what she thinks, and uh, go from there. You good? You ready? Coffee up? I'm coffee up. Okay, the key to Just a little sleepy, and we got a game, so. We'll go get some, some Z's. Yeah? Did you have any initial thoughts on that, or are you too sleepy? I'm not available at the moment. No more questions. You're not available for comment? <laughs> well, for me, that was very, very overwhelming, because that was a very big university compared to Austin P and some of the other schools we've seen. That's like a... A big dog campus, I think. I would. It was very. So. Very it, intense. I just I don't know. That's a tough choice for her. That was a really good good school. The academic side of things is huge for her. The athletic side of things is huge. Ice hockey is their number one thing, which I had no idea. Um, their 
synchronized figure skating team is like six they got sixth in the world which is insane um there's so many like fun facts like this little lantern that people kiss under like supposedly if you kiss under that at midnight you're with your significant other forever which like i found mine forever but we kissed over garlic bread and what do they call it like a miami miami match or something like that and then like it's crazy because that school's got a lot of history. This old building was like in the 1800s, it's one of the first dorms that was there. Um, just lots of history there. Ben Roethlisberger, like that whole field and stuff, you know. It's crazy. What do you feel, like, what do you feel compared to how you felt last night with that one? Because last night you were like, oh, they just party. Well, I'm sure they do just party, some kids. Party on! But one of the cool spots, like they mentioned on the walk, is sure it's a very it's safe fun. area because yeah, it's it's, it's kind of like in its own area, like up and away. And it's the only people that are there are college students. The only people there are fac faculty or people that need to be with the college. So it's not like it's in the middle of a city and stuff, which is kind of appealing. It's kind of cool. And I like the coaching staff. Coaching staff is great. I think that aligns well with her as well. We'll get more thoughts from her later, but right now she's going to... She's gonna snack on something and then get some Z's, right? She slept, slept in the dorm and your fire alarm went off. Mm -hmm. Air mattress deflated. Mm -hmm. Is it sounds sounds like a college college experience, you know? Love so we'll let her sleep. We're gonna go get into some trouble and then we'll pick back up later. Yeah. Okay, so we're back. The boy, the kids have been talking about these things. We're doing an official review. We're going with Ricky Rose, the boss. Oh. They are sweet chili lemon pepper. You know, Rick Ross, he loves lemon pepper wings from Wingstop, right? I think that's the franchise he owns. Sweet chili lemon pepper. They're actually pretty good. Jeez, those are big They're bags. big bags, right? And when we were at Sam's Club, they had Peeps, Peep flavored Pepsi. No. No. Peep, Peep flavored Pepsi. So we also got in here, little baby, all in. Salt and vinegar, barbecue, onion, garlic, and more. And then we got the dog father. Here comes the drizzle. Snoop, cheddar, and barbecue. I'm the cheddar. Oh, they're all right, though. The other reason we came up was for soccer. So we got to go play some soccer games. Well, we just have to cheer. We're sitting on the sideline. Go, team, go. All right, so it looks a little cold out there. I can sit right here and watch this whole game. This is a great view of the game. We'd be bad parents, but I'd be okay with that, I think. I don't think Taylor would care. So. I mean, we're bad parents in general. <clears throat> Babs and I just went down to the, there's a casino right here. It's right across from a penitentiary. We were like, let's just stop and just see what it is. Grandpa loves casinos. It was a very nice casino. So we were going to be like, oh, like joking, you know, like, hey, if Taylor ever goes to Ohio, like, you could always go to the casino. Because he's lucky. He always seems to win big. We walked in. Very cool. Um, they have like a soda bar. Where it's Free like soda. serve sodas. Like you just grab a cup and just get sodas. It's really cool. Non smoking. So Which it wasn't is all very gross. nice because you don't come out smelling like smoke. all machines. There was no like table games, no sports that I saw. Each put 20 bucks in a machine. I play my little diamond one that I like. She found some little penny slot. Penny slot she loves, you know. In there, maybe five minutes. We were probably in there a total of 10 minutes. I was yeah. to go to the bathroom and walk around the facility. And I had maybe six poles or something. And I hit 80 bucks. And I was like so excited. I text her a picture. I'm like, boom, congrats. Like, we're out of here. She comes over with this like look on her face. I'm like, uh oh, she either is down to seven cents or she's like, hands me the ticket. She had $84 and she's like, we need to go now. So we like both bailed. We cashed our tickets and we left. If you could turn $40 into $160, that's a very good day. Yeah, it's golden. And you need to know when to hold them and when to fold them and we walked away we ran we ran so as kenny rogers once told us we learned our lesson so here we are happy parents back at the soccer field 
$160 richer. That's so good. Man. And my books is good. And oh. I was only down, I went down to 15 bucks, came back up to 17. I hit like a bonus round. And when I was all done playing the bonus round, I hit one more spin and then it showed me what I earned. And I was like, oh, time to leave. Dollar and I got a car. Yep, I'm going. So I think uh, it's a good time to end it. Good time to end it. So that is uh, good. We're going to watch this game, see what happens, and then we'll pick up tomorrow. Uh, we got some more stuff to do in Ohio. So that is see it. See you tomorrow. Winners. 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 Winners.